India has always been at the forefront of learning, exploration and innovation. Indian civilization has flourished because it has been enriched by its easy acceptance of truth explored in any corner of the world. Openness to the world of true possibilities is the strength of India. Each time I move in India, Indian are really welcoming people, so this is very nice. I think I like the Indian culture, the way of Indian life. Everybody currently is open and friendly. I would come back again, that's definitely sure. A living example of this openness is the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore which represents the concept of one world with all its diversity. The Indian Institute of Science is one of India's oldest and most important centers for research and higher education in science and engineering. Oh, well, this institute is always a nice surprise for me. Um, I come here every time. I've been coming here for the last 10 years and every time I've come there's been something new, something exciting to see. The Indian Institute of Science is an important landmark of Bangalore, a city which has the distinction of being the capital of information technology and biotechnology in India. The institute is spread over a sprawling 440 acre campus. Living at the IISC campus is in itself an experience of learning from its vastness, its biodiversity and its ambient academic environment. Oh, beautiful! You know, some kind of a history. Actually, I chose Indian Institute of Science because it has a very long history of excellence. One of the nicest things about this institute, it's a vision of a great industrialist who believed that the future of industrialization in India is going to depend heavily on having a very high quality science and technology backup. Conceived by its founder, the visionary entrepreneur J. N. Tata in 1907, IISC is one of the most successful examples of a public-private partnership in academics in India. The institute had a humble beginning a century ago with only two departments, the Department of General and Applied Chemistry and the Department of Electrotechnology. In its 100-year journey, the Institute has had contributions from India's leaders in the scientific and academic world. The Institute is 100 years old and is very rapidly expanding into many new areas of science and engineering. Today, the Institute has six divisions, Biological Sciences, Chemical Sciences, Earth and Environmental Sciences, Electrical Sciences, Mechanical Sciences, Physical and Mathematical Sciences, all of which together are made up of 40 departments, smaller centers and other facilities. The Division of Biological Sciences is engaged in frontline research in various areas of modern biology. More than 50 faculty members and about 300 research scholars and postdoctoral fellows are engaged in understanding the living dimensions of biological systems and natural systems. The ongoing research activities span studies on living world ranging from the atomic to the ecosystem levels. The essential feature of all research that occurs in the Biological Sciences Division is to understand uh, cellular processes both in normal conditions and disease conditions relevant to human beings, to animal sciences and in plant sciences. The Division of Chemical Sciences has a long and rich tradition of research and has played a major role in the advancement of chemical sciences and technology. More than 45 faculty members and more than 180 research scholars and postdoctoral fellows are catalyzing the frontiers of chemistry. Activity in the area of chemistry is probably one of the oldest in the institute. So for many years it uh, continued as a general chemistry department. It branched out into the department of organic chemistry and the Department of Inorganic and Physical Chemistry. We had added the Material Research Center, the uh, Solid State and Structural Chemistry, and then the uh, NMR Research Center. Therefore, we have five departments 
in the Division of Chemical Science of the Institute. The Division of Earth and Environmental Sciences is engaged in research of the environment and resource management science. About 43 faculty members, 230 research scholars and postdoctoral fellows work here to understand the possibilities of life and sustainable methods of living. This division deals with atmospheric and oceanic sciences, civil engineering, climate change, earth sciences, infrastructure, sustainable transportation, urban planning and sustainable technology. Each one of these programs, as you will easily see, have some relation to society. So we are taking really the science and technology for the benefit of uh, the humans and all of them have some international collaborations. The Division of Electrical Sciences represents a significant place in the Institute from its inception. More than 100 faculty members and about 500 research scholars and postdoctoral fellows here empower society by understanding the power of energy. The division has the departments of computer science and engineering, power engineering, communication engineering and electronics departments. There's a very strong analytical uh, um, strength in our division in the areas of communication, signal processing, machine intelligence, and computer algorithms, and cryptography. So uh, our, our faculty is internationally trained. They have a long experience in, uh, in teaching and research. They've written books and papers which are re referred to all over the world. The Division of Mathematical and Physical Sciences continue to build on the proud heritage of its establishment by Nobel laureate C. V. Raman and is engaged in pioneering research. 56 faculty members, 227 research scholars and postdoctoral fellows are strengthening the scientific content of physics. The division hosts the departments of instrumentation, thin film devices, cryogenic technology, superconducting magnets, theoretical high energy physics, quantum field theory and mathematical physics, pure and applied mathematics departments. We have world-class research and a wonderful campus, very distinguished and also very friendly faculty members. As is well known, we have about uh, five students per faculty member, which is a faculty-student ratio which is unmatched in other parts of the world. The Division of Mechanical Sciences has a symbiotic relationship with the aerospace laboratories and industries in Bangalore. 73 faculty members, 507 research scholars and postdoctoral fellows are on a quest to discover the ever-expanding possibilities of technology and innovation. Boeing has only this institute to collaborate in the entire Asia if you come here and work, you will find that it's very enjoyable with this beautiful campus and the quality of education that we impart is world class. We are now in the process of actively expanding our international collaborative links. We have signed MOUs with at least about more than 100 universities. Always recognizing the benefits of cooperation the IISE has forged value-based partnerships with other eminent international institutions leading to an increasing number of exchanges of foreign students and delegations with the IISE. It is very international, it's a research place and people is friendly and open. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's, it's really well organized and uh, there is a lot of facilities for making research here. It's an uh, environment conducive to thinking and learning. Indian Institute of Science, India's premier science research center, offers the most advanced computing, cryogenic, nanotech and nuclear magnetic resonance facilities for academic research. Our facilities are some of the best in the world. For example, the supercomputer center at the Indian Institute of Science has 
computing power which is not available in even many leading US universities. Our library is one of the very nice places where you can find any kind of resource that you need. Scientific instruments, facilities are outstanding. The IISE offers excellent hostel and housing facilities to the students and faculty. This place has a bit of best miss as well as the hostel which I am where I am living that also have a very good facility. Very big, so we have lots of green space, it's very quiet, we feel very, very safe. People will feel like they are at home. The IISC provides in a completely self-contained campus all the modern comforts and amenities needed on a day-to-day -day basis. When I visit this institution in particular, I generally go back and I've put on weight. I think that says it all. The standards of the hygiene in the, uh, the cafes, the restaurants, the coffee services, it, it's excellent. They really do look after you. We have gym khana and uh, where we can play and we can enjoy everything here. I actually played in the IISC competition, the football competition that was organized. India has so many different states and so many different, different things to experience. There are all kinds of people here and you would find people who share your interests, maybe your hobbies and activities. There are also a lot of clubs here which you could join if you're interested. For those wishing to venture out, the campus is located in the heart of the city and is close to the popular shopping malls Cineplexes, multiplexes, pubs, bars, and restaurants. Oh, MG Road, fantastic for shops. <laughs> yeah, um, again, all all changing. Um, in a few years' time, there'll be metros, modern infrastructure, the transport. Bangaloreans are very friendly. They go out of their way to help. As Bangalore is a quite cosmopolitan city and place, it's easy, reasonably easy for foreigners. Weather is great. The people are very good. It's it's a very safe city for women. I'm sure uh, whoever constructed the institute must have had this in mind that the weather at Bangalore is best. The city gets an advantage because the Indian Institute of Science is here. Indian Institute of Science gets a great advantage because we are in Bangalore. It's the best institute in Asia. It's truly an international institute. We traveled almost 3,000 kilometers. It will be like a dream come true for me because IISC is, is world-renowned in institute, I would say. This institute was started. It was started to solve problems of relevance to India. We also would like to welcome foreign students and visitors to our campus. A wonderful opportunity not only to experience the culture of India, but also to engage in cutting-edge research in modern areas of science and technology. Today, we talk about problems which are global, like water, you know, climate change, energy. No one single country can solve these problems. Science cannot be done in isolation. So you need to be collaborating with everyone. And this will take the disciplines of science forward at a much more rapid pace in future. A century-long history, a strong tradition of academic research, a multicultural environment, and an ambiance that favors scholarly endeavors make the institute a very unique place that ensures its community the freedom to discover the truth of possibilities. To live and work at the Indian Institute of Science is undoubtedly a lifetime experience and definitely a special privilege.